Hey everybody, welcome back to the Spyro Reunited Trilogy. So, uh, Spyro 1 is uh, completely finished, and uh, I definitely say amazing work uh, that, uh, that, they kind of, that they did for burning that game up. But now, uh, time, to, time to definitely go into uh, my favorite of the original trilogy. Uh, with uh, Spyro 2. So, let's uh, get started. been there since we kicked nasty Nork's butt. <laughs> How about it, Sparks? You up for a vacation at the beach? <laughs> Last one there's a Nork! <laughs> Is it working, Professor? Almost. Just a few more adjustments to these orbs, and... Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Bringing a dragon here could just make Ripto more angry. Calm down, Hunter, and stop fidgeting. But you saw the professor's book. They have claws like this, and teeth like this, and they can spit fire like this. <laughs> they sound much more dangerous than Ripto. That's exactly the point. A dragon is our only chance of stopping Ripto, and you know it. It's working! It's working! I've got a dragon! Huh? <gasps> Whoa! Rough landing! Hi, which way's the beach? Hmm. Huh? Hey, stop staring! Haven't you guys ever seen a dragon before? You're a dragon? You got a problem with that pussy cat? <laughs> well, well. Someone forgot to invite me to the party. Were you trying to keep something from me? <sighs> a dragon? You brought a dragon to Avalar? I hate dragons. Yeah! Crush! Kill it! Kill it! Go, you imbecile! You ate my scepter! I'll deal with you later! Who was that jerk? That was Ripto, and we have to get rid of him. He's causing all sorts of trouble around here, but I haven't got time to explain. Here, take this magic guide to Avalar. It'll help you begin to understand our worlds. Right now, I have to follow Ripto and see what he's up to. I'll meet you in Summer Forest, okay? Hey, wait a minute! How do we get ourselves into these messes, pal? <laughs> I definitely, I, I, like again, I, I, I really liked a lot of like the, like, small changes to like redesigns of, uh, of, of some characters. So, so it's especially like, like Flora. I like that in sort of a way is not exact is 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 both exactly and not exactly what I would think that she would look like. But again, the only reference is the PS1 version, so. Hi, Spyro! Welcome to Glimmer! Unfortunately for us, a mob of lizards just showed up and started stealing all of our gems! Can you stop them?
Oh man, this looks so good though. I still can't get over how 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 good it looks. And that's also another thing that, that I have to kind of now now remember is just uh well enemies no longer carry gems. They're all they're all now out on the uh in the environments. That's it. Hi, Spyro. I'm a friend of Alora's, and she asked me to help you out. Whenever you find me, I'll remember your progress. Like this. That zap means that if you get into trouble, I'll return you to this place. See you around. Thanks, Zoe. Okay. Oh, there. Oh, my God, there's money bags. are a bit too short to climb these ladders and it looks like you are too after you learn to climb come back to glimmer to see me well we'll see if i if i actually need to climb because i'm i'm curious if uh if i if i can still if the the one not exactly glitch but uh, a cheap way to get up there ah, still works you must be the dragon everyone's talking about well Dragon or not, I'm afraid there is a small fee to open the bridge. It will cost you a hundred of your gems to cross. Thank you, Mr. Dragon. Uh, Spyro, was it? You can now use the bridge whenever you want, free of charge. I hope we meet again when you have even more gems. Oh my god, he looks... So... I... Oh my god, I, I love how money base looks. He looks like such an asshole. <laughs> to get a good look around, press the action button. Try using action to look around this cave. So yeah, we'll be seeing money bags quite often. Thanks for helping us fight off the lizards. Please take this talisman of glimmer as a sign of our gratitude. This magic portal next to me will take you to Summer Forest, one of the home worlds of Avalar. All right, well, before I head over there, I'm gonna wanna make sure to do everything else, so. Yeah, so I have the talisman, uh, but there's three gems in this. Or not, or, um, not, not gem. What, where were they? Uh, orbs, that's it. <laughs> wow, I'm bad. Uh, I actually had to really think about that one. Oh my god, they're so cute. <laughs> These little lizards have eaten my entire crop of gems. I've tried hitting them with rocks, but they're too fast for me. You can try using one of my rocks. If you have any questions, just ask me. Hit the lizards. And talk for additional hints. Okay, I'm going to... 
Nice shooting. Follow me to the next lizard. Uh, Chennai. There we go. Perfect. Yep. Yeah, so again, the, one of the main one of the main things uh, that Sparrow Two does is it allows you to hover rather than just drop drop straight down. Okay, where did where did he go? Oh well, I just saw. I guess I'll have to find out. Oh, there he is. Okay. Spit pretty far, Spyro. See if you can spit all the way to the lizard. Oh, perfect. I am able to get up here. I thought I would have to use the uh, the super, the uh, super flight. Then I believe. Oh, tricky, tricky. To hit that lizard up high, you'll have to aim. Press the action button to aim, then press the attack button to spit. All right, so let's now just follow him around find where these other lizards are. Everything about this just looks so good. I like the fact too that that uh, the, that the uh, the map here too does show. Uh, well, well, no. Well, what's that? That shows. It doesn't show where the orbs are, but it shows like I think the exit. Actually, no. Maybe it does, but it, it, I mean, I mean it. Right now, it's showing, I think, the exits as well as, I think, the orb I'm going Yay! for. Hey, You've saved my crop of gems from the lizards! Here, take this orb! Some girl with wings dropped it here yesterday. Okay. So there's right there, that's one of three. And I'm very curious if this if this uh, sort of uh, cheap way of not having to come not being forced to come back here Great. The later works. Power up is active, and you can restart our gem lamps. Flame all the lamps quickly, and the big gem lamp will light. The power-up will give you enough magic to fly for a short time. me light the lamp Spyro a fairy gave me this orb but I like gems better you take it instead <laughs> okay so oh there we go first trophy of uh, Spyro 2 so I'm curious 
if this works. Oh, I don't think it does anymore. No, please tell me. Oh, man. I really wanted this to work. Wait, okay, uh... Or is it fa is it faster to to just dash over there? Don't don't fly through there. Okay. Oh no, I I think you have to Oh man. Yeah, I think you're forced to come back here. Oh, come on. That was I li I liked being able to I liked being able to do that on the on on the PS1. I'm pretty sure I got the time. I'm pretty sure I did exactly what I'm supposed to do. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, so I'll, I I'm going to have to come back here. And unfortunately, the uh, you don't get the climb ability until like halfway through the game. So that's going to be that's going to be a little bit of a bummer. I'm pretty sure I did. I'm pretty sure I did it right. All right, so one of my. Oh no, yeah, I think the rest of the gems are actually up there. At least I. I think that's that must be where all the rest of them. Yeah, yeah, definitely is. So, I guess unfortunately we do actually have to come back here after we get climb. That's uh, that's a little bit of a bummer. I would have still liked the uh, l liked being able to not have to come back here. But there's other areas where you're forced to come back if you want 100% everything, um, which kind of makes sense to kind of go through the game just normally. Uh, reach the end, get all your abilities, and then come back afterwards. No. Oh, hello. We didn't get a chance to introduce ourselves before. My name is Alora. Uh, hi. I'm Spyro. What are you, some kind of goat? I'm a fawn, you dork. Oh, sorry. Did you meet the gem cutters in Glimmer? Yeah, they gave me a souvenir, too. They called it a talisman. They gave you a talisman? What, is it special? I just stuck it in the guidebook you gave me. Well, there are 14 talismans in Avalar, and they are all magical. If you can collect enough of them, they can be used to defeat Ripto. Hunter, where have you been? Oh, I, uh, got a little lost. Spyro's gonna help us collect the talismans. I am? He is. Spyro, look, there's no way you can get to Dragon Shores right now. Ripto and his monsters have taken over the castle here in the Summer Forest. You're going to have to go to Avalar's Worlds and convince the inhabitants to give you their talisman. You can keep them in your guidebook. Hey, I could do that. Why doesn't the dragon just torch Ripto? Hunter, you can't even keep track of your running shoes. How can we trust you with 14 talismans? <laughs> if you come across any orbs, they're important too. But I'll tell you about them later. Okay, no problem. I'll collect a few talismans, give Ripto the old hot foot, and be in Dragon Shores by lunchtime. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, so that but yeah, so again, so there's there's gonna be there's gonna be regardless, there, there's gonna be a few areas uh, that I'm gonna be forced to go back um, later. Because I believe, uh, what's it? Because I'm gonna have to come back. To, I'm gonna have to come back to Summer Forest after I get climb, uh, which again is like halfway through the game. Uh, I'm gonna have to come back to like a few areas in like the second hub area after I get like the third upgrade. So it, it just pretty much becomes like there, there's always an upgrade. Uh, ahead of you that you're going to need 
Uh, right, right. I don't know how to swim yet. Spyro, this is the home world called Summer Forest. There are portals to many of the Avalar worlds around here. Unfortunately, Ripto has taken over the castle, and we need your help. Start by retrieving the talismans from each of the worlds you visit. Oh my god, do they they actually re react? Wow, they actually kind of do. Yeah, it's just like I I I just I I just really like how how Alora looks. I just I just think she just looks like really cool. Okay, that seems seems like that's it. Hey, Spyro. Ripto smashed this bridge, so I guess you'll have to glide across it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're still in the air to glide. Did you actually teleport over there, or did you actually run over there, Hunter? Oh, okay. They okay. They they do have the the words uh, above the above the the uh, world gates. Okay, I, I thought I thought for some reason they they got rid of them because the because the, because the cutscene for uh, Dryden Shores it's supposed to say Dryden Shores there. And uh, I believe after Glimmer, uh, it's supposed to say Summer Forest on that one as well. Huh. Hi, Spyro. You look like you're pretty agile. Let's try putting it to a test. See if you can get up this first step. Press the jump button and hold it down to get more hang time. Okay, not bad. Now to make this next jump, you'll have to glide. Press the jump button, then press jump again at the top of your jump to get the maximum glide distance. Nice job! Now, try to do a hover. Press the jump button, then press jump again to glide. When you reach the end of your glide, press the action button to hover. Hovering will give you extra height and distance. There we Very are. good. Now for the hardest leap of all. You'll have to give this one everything you've got. Get a walking start, jump, glide, and hover just before you get to the edge of the platform. Don't forget to press forward on the left stick when you hover. And always want to make sure to let Hunter go first. Because I know wow, the PS1, you're a he... Pretty good athlete. If you go if too fast, he'll keep shoes, kind of push you off. You on for, real. for now, here's an orb for your collection. And there it is. Sorry, Spyro. I'd love to teach you how to swim underwater, but not as much as I'd love to take your treasure. <laughs> uh, it costs. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. It costs 500. Which is impossible. You need to you need to go into one of the one of the first worlds in order to in order to get more treasure uh, or gems, whichever whichever way. Because yeah, I believe I have everything except for 
down in the water there, and then there's a little bit in the back. So I guess let's head on over to Idle Springs. And let's actually try to com actually complete a level for once here. <laughs> Yeah, well, actually, no, I would have to come back here. Yeah, I would have to come back here again anyways, um, after I learn how to swim. Yeah, because otherwise I can't do... I can't do uh, this gem. So yeah, so I, I, I guess I'll just go through and complete this. Um, like, uh, like normally. Spyro! The idols we were carving have come to life! They've locked us out of our temples and stolen our food! Metal shields are making enemies invulnerable to your flame attack. If you press and hold the charge button, you can defeat them with your charge attack. Yeah, kind of already, already fi figured that out. But thanks, though. Oh, there we go. There's perfectly 500. Uh, oh, right. Still points. Land on idle. I, I, I never actually did did do all the rest of them for uh, for Spiral One. Um, yeah, I mean, like it. it maybe again. Maybe I'll go back, even though I've already uh, platinumed the game. Maybe I'll end up going back and uh, just replaying, replaying parts, skill to skill points, just to see like like concept art. Um, since I now know that that that's what the uh, well again I I know that that's what the um, what the skill points are for. To aim the camera left or right, use the right stick. Thanks. And I swear that I swear if the next person who tells me, by the way, did you know you can jump the X button? I might have to fling someone. Well, well. <laughs> it's like I get it. It's, it. I get it. It's a kids' game, but and yet I'm I'm almost dying to it. <laughs> I could really use a 
butterfly around here, around this point. And going back that way leads back to the beginning. Sparrow, you're pretty tough. If you ever want a permanent job, we've got a place for you here. But for the moment, I want you to have this talisman. Alright, well, I think I'll, yeah, so I, I, I think actually I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and leave, and, uh, we'll kind of, we'll, co we'll come back afterwards. Oh. So once I give up my 500 to money bags, um, I'll be able to swim, and then I'll be able to do the rest in, well, half of the rest of Summer Forest, as well as going back to Idle Springs and uh, getting one of the other orbs. The dragonfly following you around is your health indicator, Except Spyro. he's not there anymore. The brighter he is, the more hit points you have. All right, money bags. Hello there, Spyro. Would you like to learn to swim underwater? I suppose I could teach you for <clears throat> a small fee. Great. Okay, when you jump in the water, you can use your left stick to move around the surface. Use the charge button to dive underwater. When you're underwater, use the jump button to paddle and charge button to charge. Thanks. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so... I'm not. I'm gonna have to get used to the uh, underwater. How it kind of how it how it feels here. Whoa. All right. First off, let me head all the way back. Get in here. Because if I go over here, I'll be able to get even more treasure. Um, yeah. That's the only thing uh, left. Well, I could go forward, but actually, I want to head back to Idle Springs, and then I'll just have to do a a quick run of the uh, of the whole of the whole thing again. A thing again, which which is kind of fine. Um, it does kind of suck. It, it does kind of suck a little bit that. After you come, after you beat a level once, you know you 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 do actually have to start from uh, from the beginning, and and kind of like all the progress, you know, like you know, and and it's sort of a way like all the progress kind of uh, just just kind of you know restarted. So let me just quickly run through all this again. That way I'll be able to get the rest of the gems and orbs um, 
right after. and do this one first because uh, I know this one doesn't take this one does not take too much time uh, yeah I can get all those gems later oh that's right okay crap I, I do actually have to kill more uh more guys. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, so how many have I done? Uh, seven. Okay. Here's... There we go. That's eight. There we go. Now his spirits will start up the supercharge. And just for fun, even even if you don't necessarily have, you're not you're not forced to actually talk with any of these, with uh, many many or or if any of these uh, people to uh, start orb challenges, you can just go ahead and do them. But it's I like to. Fabulous to see you, Spyro. Now that the supercharged power up is active, you can charge through the pedestals and send the dancing hula girls over here to help me. All right, so I gotta make sure. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. The hula girl's ring dance blew up that idol like a Roman candle. Now I can pursue that dancing career I've dreamed of. Take this orb. It could help you go places. So, now that we're done that, I uh, can go ahead and get the rest, get the rest of the gems here. Should be just the few that's that are left. Uh, right, yep, I had to do this one regardless. Aw, oh, that, uh, that was close. Yeah, so I, I guess I guess you get a skill point for uh, landing on top of it. I was trying to go for it, but uh, huh? I can't seem to get up there. Can I just jump up and Sparks will grab it? No? So it looks like they kind of changed, they kind of changed that because that would happen in the original. The gems would kind of get stuck up there, but so long as you kind of just bump yourself up there, uh, Sparks would normally be able to grab them regardless but it seems like you can't it seems like, it seems like that's another thing you can't necessarily do uh, yeah just, if I just if I just glide and unless unless it's after a certain amount of time then I'll be able to actually hover oh yeah see what I mean huh Okay, what if I do this? 
no. Okay, so that, so that, okay, that doesn't work. So maybe I will just have to re-climb up uh, the whole thing. Wanna, I, I definitely wanna wanna finally be able to get 100% at least on at least on one area. Uh, actually, I don't. I, I, yeah, I, I don't necessarily need to go for the skill points. I can I can always do those at a later date. But can I can I go from here? Oh wait, that oh wait that that doesn't bring me to the beginning. Okay, I thought I thought it did. But it actually doesn't, so I Burrow, you're pretty tough. Yeah, I already have the I already have it. Thanks. That thanks anyway. At least I'll get a second chance at going for this. That's a that's a tight that's a tight window to jump over the, and get on top of it. Yeah, that's that's really tough. Of course, I'm trying to go for something else. Ah. Yeah. Okay. I, I thought I'd be able to. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to reach up there, but maybe you would have to do like maybe you'd have to do a, a charge jump. Um, that is not the necessity that I need to go for. I need to get these gems. I need to get these gems and then finish this level. And uh, stop, stop the video here. Okay, so I need to go around it. Here we are. Yeah, Sparks, if you would only, if you'd only pick them up uh, from much sooner. And there should be, yep, there's a few more right here. There we are, all 400. I've been locked in here with all our tools, and the giant idle heads won't let the workers in unless we can solve the three puzzles they've given us. The first puzzle is to turn all these blocks yellow. If you have trouble, come back and talk to me. Okay, I remember... If I remember how to turn all of these... Just like that. Yep, there we go. Wow, Spyro, you did it! Uh, I mean, uh, I knew you could do it. Now, meet me at the pond for the next challenge. Yep, so there's three different parts to this. This idol says he's hungry and won't be satisfied until he's swallowed ten fish. He's got a sensitive stomach, so watch what kind of fish you feed him. Okay, blue and yellow. If it's a red one, let it pass. Ah, 
I like that they'll actually they'll actually pop their head out uh, slightly to let you know okay, which one it's going to be. Just one more puzzle to go. I'll meet you over by the colored stones for your final challenge. Yep, yeah, so I have to go through go through a portion of the level again because there was yeah just again there was these uh, little things in the ground that I had to go in go into. Here we are. If you jump on these stones in the correct order, you will solve the puzzle. I only know what the first one is. It's up to you to figure the rest out. All right, so. Hmm. Nope. Okay. Let's. All right. Well, I know the first. And the set I know the first one and the second one. It's one of these moons, I just forget which one. Is it green? No. Okay, so it's the orange moon. And then probably the green moon. Yeah. Right? Yep. Nice job, Spyro. You're pretty smart for a dragon. Uh all I have to give you is this shiny thing I found in our toolbox. Hey, I'll gladly take that. And now I should now I have uh hundred percent of finally one area. There we are. So let's go ahead and exit. Huh. Oh. <laughs> Alright, well yeah, so a couple things there took took a little bit longer than I than I intended or wanted. Uh but uh thank you everyone for watching and uh we will continue on with Spyro 2 uh on to Colossus uh and further on through throughout uh, Summer Forest. So, uh, yeah, so again, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, hopefully I will see you all in the next one.